Let's be honest, your moderation bots can only block a few words that you added to their block list and even some dangerous links. But can your bot detect messages when someone flirts or calls your mom a fad? Or passes racist comments on your countries? The answer is no, it can't. But I got just the right bot for you, it's Watchdog. This is not your run-of-the-mill moderation bot. It's the next generation AI-powered bot that can literally read messages and sentences. Mm -hmm. The best thing is, you need to just make a rule list and it will make sure that everyone follows it as if it has a mind of its own. Now if this has piqued your interest, let's get started. Now let's start from setting up the rules. After adding the bot to your Discord server, head over to its dashboard, create a community. I already have one Pixie Tutorials test server, thanks to the owner who took all that effort to make one for me. Here you will find a list of pre-made rules. The owner has made it or maybe it was already there. But anyway, you can edit them as per your needs. Let's do it. In display name, add a title of the rule like no racism. In applies to, you can select the types of messages like posts or replies or just all types of messages. This is the scope feature and it's super useful. It lets you tell Watchdog exactly what to look at. You can set a rule to check the message content like for spam or bad words. Or, you can have it just check the username, so you can automatically catch people with offensive names. It's all about making your rules specific. Excluded channel is self-explanatory. For description, you can explain your rule more in detail. Punishments feature is even more interesting. If someone violates this rule, what actions you'll allow the bot to take? It has delete message, alert admins, kick, ban, and mute. It's cool. It also has an option asking when it can take action, like immediately or after multiple violations. You can set the number of violations, interval value, and interval unit. You can pick whatever fits your Discord server's moderation style. Another cool thing is, you can set more than one punishment as it's set here like delete message and alert admins. Let's say if it tickles your fancy even more, you can add three or four punishments too. I mean, who's stopping you? I love this one so much. Now if you want to create a rule manually, just click plus create rule button and follow whatever I told you at the start. If you have no clue what rules you want to add, just click generate rules. In community description, you will explain what kind of server you are running and according to that, the AI will create a list of rules for you. This will save your time and effort and make your life easier. Let's run the rule command in our server to check if the bot has replaced it with the new ones. There we go, it did. It looks quite cool. Now, let's violate these rules on purpose to see if the bot can detect that and take action. Whatever I am about to write here is very offensive, but it's just for testing the bot so don't get offended. Well, okay, the first message got deleted. Let's write a racist comment about skin color. This AI model takes some time to think, so there is about a 10 seconds delay before an action is taken after a message gets posted. Now it's time to test out its next feature called bot behavior. Just scroll down and click edit behavior. It has a feature to send welcome messages, where it welcomes new folks when they join your server, delete join messages, which is quite cool to avoid the cluttering. If you enable answer questions, the bot will answer all the questions, but you need to train the bot first, which I'll explain later. In process messages from admin, it will also start moderating your staff members if you enabled this one. Alert channel message template is quite self-explanatory. You can use the ready-made template or make one of your own. You can whitelist your friend or someone you trust here. To do that, just copy their username and paste it in the box. I think with some time, we might even get whitelist roles and channels. Since we have enabled welcome message feature, we can also add a custom welcome message, which is also pretty cool. Click save changes if you're done here. Now do you remember I talked about answer questions feature? To train the bot, click import knowledge under Q and a knowledge base. Here you need to add your website link that talks about you or anything else. If you have a website, just paste the link here. The AI will learn about you and answer questions like your spokesperson that your members may ask. I fed some info while bot testing, added my YouTube channel link. It was a blunder, but it's fixed. I'll show you how to train it properly. You can't just add any random website link. First, go to a website you want, like Wikipedia. Let's teach the bot about Japan. 
I copied one small paragraph and pasted it in Pastebin. Now, I will convert it to raw data. Well, I don't know what this thing is called, but just follow me. Now click raw button. Copy this website link. This method makes the bot easier to learn and train stuff. After that is done, you can click run import. While it's importing, let it do its thing and don't interrupt it. It will do its job. After a few minutes, you will see all the entries here. You can try chatting with the bot and asking questions related to this. About its learning functionality, Watchdog doesn't just moderate, it learns. When an admin answers a question, the bot remembers it. So next time a user asks the same thing, Watchdog has the answer. Now let's ask questions, but remove your name from the whitelist so the bot doesn't ignore your questions. Since we trained the bot about Japan, let's ask questions related to it. I am not sure about you guys, but I can already see humans losing their jobs to AI considering how fast this thing learns. Now let's head over to its analytics feature. Here you will find a whole log of rule violation. People who have violated the rules I mean. This is much easier than going through Discord logs. Whatever I wrote here is kind of offensive, but just know that it's only for testing so don't get offended. But on the bright side, the bot worked amazingly well as it deleted all the messages that were deemed rude. Now another cool thing is, it also works on Telegram. Let's test with using fancy fonts. Other bots might not be able to pick up fancy fonts and symbols, but Watchdog is at a whole another level. It will analyze the message and take action. So yep, it's worth it to get Watchdog in your server as it can moderate just like your human staff for 24 hours. Watchdog is not just on Discord and Telegram, but also on Reddit, Twitter, and Crisp. The bot has had some cool reputable customers too and has been featured on many big platforms. This tool was created by a guy who moderates Telegram groups himself. You can tell he understands what the issues are for anyone who moderates Telegram and Discord group. You can also find a demo video created by him. Let's learn about its pricing. They've got a 14-day free for the launch plan. At just $24 a month, it's perfect for anyone just starting out or running a smaller community. You get to moderate up to 10,000 messages, and it works across all your communities with five custom rules. But if you're growing, the scale plan is where it's at. This one is the most popular, and it's a crazy good deal at $49 a month. It seriously bumps you up to 100,000 messages and 10 custom rules. And hey, if you pay for the year, you get two months free. Now, for the big dogs, there's the enterprise plan. If you've got a massive community, you can book a call to get a custom quote. Last surprise for you is, don't pay this price directly. Click add promotion code and add my coupon code PIXIE10. This will give you 10% off. Isn't that cool? Honestly, one of the coolest features is this calculator. You can actually see how much money you'll save by using Watchdog, because let's be real, your time is worth something. It's a fantastic tool that literally pays for itself. It also has frequently asked questions that you can go over. And if your questions are not mentioned here, just join Watchdog's official Discord server. The owner is super active and answers questions on time. So that is it for today. Join my Discord server too if you want free Nitro or decor and layouts or if you just want to chill. And hit the like and subscribe button if you love this tutorial. I want to thank Watchdog for sponsoring this video.